The 2018 Audi S4, like almost every sedan these days, faces a challenging marketplace overrun with the crossovers that consumers have adopted en masse. And Ingolstadt hasn't made things any easier for the S4, which shares showroom real estate with both Audi's SQ5 SUV and the S4's shapelier and slightly more capacious sibling, the new S5 Sportback. While the S4 remains a go-to for under the radar performance and luxury for proponents of the traditional 3-box, sport sedan formula, its wider allure is waning. High solid performance, stealthy road presence, refined and high-touch cabin. Low short on engagement behind the wheel, fierce competitors in the same showroom. Now based on the latest generation Audi A4 sedan. The revised for 2018 S4 shares much of its makeup with the SQ5 and the S5 Sportback, including its Volkswagen Group ML Bivo platform and a turbocharged 3.0-litre V6 engine mated to an 8-speed torque air converter automatic transmission. Audi unfortunately has axed the 6-speed manual from the order sheet with the new generation of S4. Quattro all-wheel drive is standard with the S4 defaulting to a 4060 front to rear torque bias, the system can shuffle up to 70% of the grunt to the front axle or 85% to the rear as traction demands. Compared with the previous S4's 333 horsepower supercharged 3.0 litre V6, the new mill churns out 354 horses and 369 lbft of torque at a low 1370 revolutions per minute. More speed, less drama weighing 89 pounds less than the last S5 Sportback we evaluated, our S4 test car returned the same 4.3 second 0 to 60 mph sprint as the S5 as well as a quarter mile pass of 12.8 seconds at 109 miles per hour minus 0.1 second and 1 mile per hour quicker than the sport back. The SQ5 needed 5.1 and 13.7 seconds for the same measures. More important, the sedan's times are both 0.6 second quicker than those of the previous S4 and fleet enough to better all of its key competitors save for the Mercedes AMG C43 formatic sedan, which just edges out the Audi with a 4.1 second blast to 60 mph and a quarter mile in 12.7 at 110 mph, rolling on standard 18-inch wheels 19s are optional shod with 24540R at Dean Hancock Venters S1 of 02 summer tires. The S4 also returned an impressive 0.99 grams of lateral grip on the skid pad and a 148 foot stop from 70 miles per hour. Although we should note that the 501 pound EV Rescue 5 matched its braking performance. Similarly, the S4's observed fuel economy of 20 miles per gallon overall and 28 miles per gallon on our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy test mainly equal the efficiency of the Portlier SUV. The S5 Sportback, which shares the S4's EPA estimates, 21 miles per gallon city, 30 highway, and 24 combined, fared notably better at 23 miles per gallon overall and at 33 miles per gallon on the interstate. What the S4 lacks most is character, which is fine for a stealthy sleeper but less so for a driver's machine. It does not do theatre. Whereas the previous supercharged V6 had a snarl in its voice and a crispness to its responses, the turbo engine while more powerful and plenty willing to rev to its 6,750 revolutions per minute redline, feels and sounds dulled in comparison. The 8-speed automatic gives a little if anything to the old car's 7-speed dual-clutch unit, providing more fluid low-speed behavior yet with similarly coordinated and lightning quick shifts. Responsiveness to the small, steering wheel-mounted paddles is not quite as instantaneous. Dropping the shift lever into S wakes up the whole powertrain for aggressive driving, but the setting's reluctance to cruise in top gear and eagerness to downshift and hold revs can feel a bit too eager for anything less than a flat-out pace. Our test car was fitted with Audi's $1,150 variable ratio dynamic steering system, 
which provides precise and super direct action for the driver, but we probably could live without it. We haven't driven an S4 equipped with its standard fixed ratio setup, but the dynamic helm always felt a bit artificial and stingy on the tactile feedback that we've praised in other sporty sedans such as the 10 best cars winning Alfa Romeo Giulia. The S4's fine balance of solid body control and taut but tolerable ride quality on most surfaces also at no point had us wishing for the bigger 19-inch rollers. However, the torquey vectoring rear sport differential, part of the $2,500 S-Sport package that also includes red brake calipers and adaptive dampers, is a worthwhile upgrade. It compensates for the S-4's inherent understeer at the limit, partially attributable to 56.6% of its £3,928 sitting on the front wheels by modulating torque across the rear axle to tighten the car's line into and out of corners. Additional configurability comes via the selectable driving modes Comfort, Auto, Dynamic, and Individual of the Audi Drive Select system, which can vary the responsiveness of the steering, engine, and driver train as well as the firmness of the dampers. Yet, from behind the wheel, it just drives like a quicker A4 with none of the S4's kit really endowing it with a feeling of specialness. Lost in the scenery that impression carries over to the car itself, with the S4 mostly distinguished only by its model-specific wheel designs, quad tail pipes, and bright aluminum look mirror caps. The S model's quilted front sport seats, wrapped in leather with micro inserts, are as beautiful as they are comfortable and supportive, but little else changes inside. Like all Audis, the build quality and high-touch minimalism of the S4's cabin is one of its greatest attractions. And Audi's MMI infotainment interface is still great, its central control knob and secondary shortcut buttons and toggles providing intuitive control with minimal distraction. We see little need to replace it with capacitive touch displays as Audi plans to do with its whole lineup, starting with the 2019 A8 luxury sedan. It is in overall execution that the S5 Sportback presents the greatest challenge to the S4, what with its sleeker Cooper-like profile and 22 cubic foot cargo bay accessed via a hatchback versus the sedan's 13 cube trunk, we squeezed 6 carry-on cases behind the rear seats of the Sportback, compared with 5 in the S4. At $52,375 to start in its base guys, the S4 represents a discount of $3,000 versus the similarly equipped S5 Sportback and $2,900 compared with the SQ5 crossover. That entry point also undercuts the $54,395 Mercedes-AMG C43 sedan, although a BMW 340i X-Drive is slightly more affordable still at $51,945 and the 340i can be had with a manual transmission. We'd opt for a more discreet paint color than our test car's vibrant tango red metallic, even if all of the S4's available hues besides basic black and white cost $575 extra. Along with its sizable list of standard features, our example also included rear side airbags for $350 as well as the $2,800 navigation package the 12.3-inch virtual cockpit digital instrument cluster, navigation, Audi's MMI touch controller with handwriting recognition, and six months of all of Audi's connectivity features for a reasonable as tested sticker of $59,550. In a new world bent on crossovers, the S4 is a traditional choice, albeit one that fails to stand out among Audi's other body styles with similar hardware. While it's quick, capable, and certainly more satisfying to pilot than a high-riding SUV, the SQ5 could easily keep up with the S4 in the real world. And other than its slightly lower entry fee, the S4 presents a weak argument against the S5 Sportback whose happier blend of curbside presence and day-to-day -day versatility we'd consider worth its premium.